Hi, working on a little project. I thought I'd share it. I'm trying to develop some generic instruments that we can use with uh, Air Manager. And uh, the concept was to come up with some uh, template of images, uh, uh, templates from Skinman, so that we can make several of us could work on instruments at the same time and they would all look the same, have the same shadows, and so on. This was my first try. I'll show you. Um, it's not necessarily the end result but uh, that I'm looking for, but I'll give you an idea. I'm going to open this one up and run it first. And you can see it's a simple uh, airspeed indicator. Now what I've done is the background panel is, uh, is one layer. The screws that you can see is one layer. The bezel is another layer. The markings are one layer. The face is another layer. Of course, the needle is a separate layer. And this knots here can also be changed to miles per hour, so it, it can be changed also. Now, the real tr trick of the thing is, I, what I'm doing is I've created some small 20 degree arcs that go from, say, 0 to 20. Uh, they actually are up on this, when I originally make them, they're up here at the top. And what I did was I made a white, white arc 20 degrees, a green arc 20 degrees, a yellow arc 20 degrees, and then I made this little red line, which is not adjustable, but always that width. And what it does, basically, is uh, there's a constants in the script, and you can add those, uh, edit those constants when you uh, want to use the uh, instrument. And you can set the value for the bottom of the white arc and the top of the white arc, the bottom of the green arc, the bottom of the uh, caution arc, the yellow arc, and then VNE, the red arc too, or the red, red line, if we would say that. So we can adjust those. Now you can see how they're set now. I'm going to show you this script, and maybe you can see what I've done here. Let me make it extra big. But you can see that, for example, it says uh, panel true. If you want the background panel, if not, you just put false in there, it won't show up. The bezel ring, do you want the bezel ring? Some people who are making instruments for uh, simulators wouldn't want the bezel ring. They might just want a panel background, which is black. They could just change the color of that back panel and they'd be good to go and remove the bezel ring. Screws visible. Uh, units. There's a unit in knots, which is true, which is the default for both X-Plane and uh, FSX. But if you want to use it in uh, miles per hour, you just change this to false and it'll convert the units over. Of course, the as you see, the units that you put in for the limits will be whatever is displayed on the gauge. VNE visible, yes. And you can put a number here. Let's change there from 245 and let's make it, uh, let's make it uh, 180. And is the yellow visible? Yellow arc visible? Yes. And let's make that uh, 155. And then the green arc, is it visible? Let's make it start at, at uh, 40. And is the white arc visible? Yes. We'll make it start at 30 and go to uh, 55. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so those are all the constants that you can set. Now, uh, after that, it's just a standard uh, standard uh, operation. So uh, we've got it set for knots and those speeds. So I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to close this script. And I'm going to go back and watch what happens. It'll relaunch this thing and the, the arcs will move. You can see now we have the arcs set just the way we set them for the, the new units. You can see going from... 30 up to 55 for the white arc, the green arc from uh, uh, 40 all the way up to uh, 155, and then the red line up at 180. So you can see it. It's pretty cool that you can change these arcs around. Now, what I would envision us doing is making several altimeters with certain speed ranges. Uh, maybe I went a little low here with the 20, but we can. Uh, what I've made is I made a template that has lettering. It has uh, a, a major uh, units uh, star or circle of lines. It has a uh, major and minor and then it has um, uh, some needles and screw. The screws are there in the background and the bezel. And the idea, I've also made one that's half that a quarter this size. In other words, this is 500 by 500. I made a 250 by a 250 and that's for more like for engine instruments and so on. But you get the idea. The idea is that we have now a uh, 
uh, we might have some way to start off with a, a standard. Now, I, I'm not saying that my design is the one that necessarily has to be the one. We don't want these to be, these are to be functional. And so that someone who's just starting out on Air Manager can go ahead and use that to, uh, you know, to adjust the instruments and create a panel that will meet their needs uh, without having to uh, do a whole lot of programming. Anyone can go in there and change those constants just by clicking script and just changing those numbers and making the numbers uh, fit whatever airplane they want to fly. So anyway, that's, uh, that's just a, a short uh, idea of what I was working on today and I wanted to share that. And if anyone's interested, just go ahead and uh, respond in the message below that you're interested and maybe we can assign people different jobs uh, to, um, to try to get uh, the instruments, a uh, complete set of instruments. I envision a, a set for the, uh, a set for maybe a light single engine, a single engine plane with fixed gear, constant speed prop, a complex airplane with the option for gear, retractable gear, and, and of course higher speeds. And then, uh, then we could have a uh, like something that would be similar to a light twin, and then uh, maybe a turboprop twin, and then maybe even a light jet. And and we can also introduce some standardized uh, PFD kind of uh, glass cockpit kind of instrumentation too, so that uh, people could put together a pretty nice panel with a consistent look without a whole lot of work at trying to re uh, re-engineer these things. Uh, of course, for those of us who are diehards, we love doing it. But for the, some of the new, new newbies, it's kind of overwhelming to jump into that Lewis script and try to build something from scratch. But I think the ability to make instruments that can fit the performance of an airplane that you want to fly, is it has some value. So give me comments below uh, and uh, let me know if you're interested in being one of the worker bees to try to come up with some of these instruments. Thanks.